Hi, it's Alicia from the Pretty Brown Eye Reader. Today I'm coming with my March Mystery Madness TBR. And I will have the prompts for March Mystery Madness in the description box below so you can take a look at those. So I'll just go ahead and get started with what I hope to read during the month of March. Um, I'm also going to take this time to do another goal for myself from in March and that's to read books that are, I already have that are on my shelf or on my Kindle. So some of the books that I am going to talk about are on my Kindle so I don't want to hold your time while I pull up those off my Kindle so I'll just tell you about what they are. So for the first prompt, the first prompt is single and for that I'll be reading something off my Kindle and that book is Every Reasonable Doubt by Pamela Samuels Young and she is an author I've read um, books from before from her that she's written before and this one is the first one in her Vernita Henderson series and it is about a lawyer who is tapped to defend a socialite so it sounds very messy and since it's the first in a series I'm looking forward to um, getting into it and see if I like it to carry on because it's already I think five books in the series so the next prompt is number so I have this wonderful book that I've had for a long time <laughs> and it is the number one ladies detective agency and it's by Alexander McCall Smith and um, I actually picked this up at a thrift store years ago <laughs> so I really need to read it and it's a mystery set in Botswana and uh, Mr. Smith is actually a South African writer but he, the, he's based this series in uh, Botswana and um, it has been made into an HBO series follow, uh, starring Jill Scott and I've seen the series so I, I really need to go back and read the book. <laughs> so the next prompt is Person and it's, I'll be reading another book off my Kindle for that. And it's by, um, the book is Ruined and it's by D.E. Elliott. And it's a thriller that is based off of a husband investigating his wife's mysterious past after a devastating um, car crash so person you got two people already in that scenario the husband and wife sounds very good <laughs> so the next thing is um place that's the next prompt and for that I'll be um, listening to an audiobook and that is to the bridge a true story of motherhood and murder by Nancy Rommelman and this is a true crime that took place in Portland where a mother, she threw her two children into the river. So I love true crime. <laughs> I actually, I don't remember this story. So I think it was, it happened, occurred in 2009, but supposedly this audiobook is excellent. It comes highly rated. So that is what I plan to listen to for the month of March. The next uh, prompt is weather. And I actually wound up changing this at the last minute, <laughs> but the 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 book I'm going to use for that is Ordinary Grace, and it's by William Kent Kruger, and this is the cover for the book. Uh, I hope you can see it well. The uh, weather looks very pretty in that cover, so I was like, I'm going to use that book for <laughs> the weather prompt, and it's about... Um, it's actually set in Minnesota and it's considered a literary mystery and the main character is a preacher's kid and he's trying to investigate some deaths he remembers from his childhood. Hmm. Sounds very good. So continuing on, the next prompt is color and for that I'm going to go with black top wasteland and since black is in the cover, that's color, that's what I'm going to go with and it's by S.A. Cosby. And it is another book that's on my Kindle. And it is the key words that I, I saw in the description when I got the book was Getaway Driver and Jewelry Heist. That's all I need to know. <laughs> that sounds very right up my alley. <laughs> um, it's a thriller and it also comes highly recommended. Uh, the next prompt is Time. And for that one, I'm going to use the, the book Monday's Not Coming by Tiffany D. Jackson. 
And that's also on my Kindle. And it's a YA novel about a teenager who is named Monday who disappears. And so a lot of people have read it and said that it's, it's really good. So I want to tap into that even though Monday is technically a day. But you know that's kind of like the time. I'll give you a time reference. Monday. <laughs> Let me know if I'm reaching too far. <laughs> um, the next prompt is space. And for this, uh, I'm using this book, The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell. I interpreted space as, you know, an area. So, so upstairs is an area. <laughs> so this book is about three families living in a house and they have some dark secrets. And it sounds very good. It also has very high ratings. So... I feel like I won't go bad if I um, get a chance to read that one too. So those are the for the eight prompts, and then we also have a bonus. So being a bookworm, I just I really it took me to the last minute to really narrow down what I want to read. But I still got three three other books that are possibilities for the month, and so I put them under the bonus. Um, the first one is this graphic novel, and it's. Poe's Stories and Poems and it's um, adapted by Gareth Hens and so I love poetry and y'all know Edgar Allan Poe is one of the most mysterious figures <laughs> in literature so I um, look forward to maybe getting a chance to look at that graphic novel even the cover is kind of ooh, it's kind of like mysterious with the skeletons and all in it but okay I'm not gonna get on tangent with that um, I have another book on my Kindle that I want to read that everybody was talking about last year and that is Mexican Gothic by Sylvia Moreno Garcia. So I got that on my Kindle. I can take a look at that. And then I also have a short story collection that I actually have the book for but I don't have it with me right at the moment. And it's Always Outnumbered, Always Outgunned by Walter Mosley. And like I said, it's a short story collection. So that's also a possibility. So I hope you're joining in with March Mystery Madness and have picked out some wonderful books. Let me know in the comments if you are, what you're reading. Um, please check out the other hosts who are also posting their TBRs and recommendation recommendation videos. I look for, I think it's going to be an excellent month. So let's have fun reading mysteries. <laughs>